Okay, well, my name's Pori Geegan. Um, I'm here with Fitzpatrick Referrals. I completed their internship program about six months ago. Uh, I embarked on an internship after about four and a half years in practice, which is not the usual kind of pathway to take. People regard internships as something that new graduates take on, that new graduates uh, uh, use it as to, uh, kind of an uh, exercise to increase their skills and prepare themselves for life in general practice. Um, I kind of did it the other way around. After four and a half years in practice, I wasn't really finding fulfillment in what I was doing and decided that small and all surgery was a real passion and what I loved doing. And to become a specialist in that area, I needed to consider uh, going down the route of a residency. To gain access to a residency, the prerequisite is an internship. So instead of focusing on a, a general rotating small animal internship, I decided to try and focus on an internship that, that revolved around surgery. And that's where I found myself at Fitzpatrick Referrals. I did a 12 month internship with them. In that period, I managed to present clinical research abstracts, present posters at BSAVA. I had a research abstract uh, presented at BOS in America. Uh, managed to get a paper published quite strangely on sheep, but uh, you know, we don't expect that in a small animal practice, but we managed it. And to me, most importantly, managed to scrub for 450 cases. It confirmed within me that surgery was the path I wanted to take in my career and really was one of the uh, best decisions I've made career-wise and reignited within me my, my passion for veterinary medicine and surgery and uh, I'm just glad I made the decision even though it was a little bit late. I think before I embarked on an internship I was very uh, careful about what it was going to entail for me being a little bit further out in my career. My experience was in the main wholly positive. I learned an incredible amount. I was uh, given the ability to work under some world recognized specialists, gain knowledge from them, expand my own skill set. It's not all a bed of roses, you know, there are some negative aspects of it that anyone thinking about going down the route of an internship should consider, but I'd prepared myself quite thoroughly, I thought, before I started. The wages aren't great, the hours are long, it's, uh, it can at times feel that, especially for myself after being qualified for a number of years, that you have been told what to do instead of making the decisions for your own patients. But you learn very quickly that by following the direction of people that are more experienced in a field, you can improve your own ability to look after patients. And for me, I can see internships as a, a kind of stepping stone, not just for people that want to do residencies, but for people that are in general practice and want to find a way of expanding their skill set very, very quickly. 12 months isn't a long time and I can see that if I'd moved back into general practice after doing an internship, it would have been incredibly useful for me. I think when choosing an internship you first have to have a little think about what your career goal is going to be. I think there's certain questions you need to ask yourself. Will a private practice or a university-based internship suit you better? I think they're both wonderful opportunities, but it comes down to the individual. I think maybe newer graduates might be better placed considering some of the university settings where the support might be a little bit uh, uh, more structured and there might be more individuals there who can offer support. Private practice can be a different entity. I think people need to visit the places they're going to consider doing an internship at, get a feel for it, see is it the right place for them to work. Every practice, every university is different. You need to decide if you're going to commit 12 months of your life to something that you can fit in, that the work flows right, that the people seem nice. I visited a number of places before I settled for Fitzpatrick for my internship and I just made sure that if I was going to make that sacrifice of 12 months of my life to have low wages, longer hours, that it was the right thing for me.